Hello class, I created this video to help with problem 13 uh, on a 3-2 homework assignment. Uh, you're asked to find a population variance and standard deviation. Uh, so we can use StatCrunch to handle the heavy lifting. If I click the little table next to your data and I open in StatCrunch, I can press, right, so here's my data in, in column one. Uh, so if I press stat, and I want summary statistics, uh, columns, because my data is stored in a column uh, under the variable one heading. We can add whatever we want here. If I want to see the mean, the median, the mode. Uh, but I do believe this problem as for the population variance and standard deviation. Uh, so to fill this column in, uh, we're going to want to hold on the control button. Uh, let's see. So we have the standard deviation, we have the variance, but remember we want the population variance. So I'm going to look for the unadjusted variance. So I hold the control key down, I highlight this unadjusted variance and it adds it to the bottom here, right? Well, the difference between the variance and the unadjusted variance, well, when we have the standard deviation, for the sample standard deviation, we end up dividing by N minus one, but the population uh, standard deviation, uh, you only divide by n. So if you remember the variance is the, the standard deviation squared, uh, it makes a difference, right? So for this unadjusted variance, when we calculate the standard deviation, uh, we're doing it for a population standard deviation, meaning when we do our calculation, we divide by n. Um, so I think I have everything else that we need. I'm going to press compute. And then in this table, let's see, uh, you see that we have the mean, the variance, but over here is the unadjusted variance, which is the population variance. So my answer is 16, and you can see 16 is the correct answer. Then for the standard deviation, it says type an integer or a decimal. So integer means, um, you know, one, two, three, four, right? Those are our integers are basically the counting numbers, the positive and negative of the counting numbers. So when I look for just the standard deviation, I have 4.472. So as an integer, I would simply just type in 4. And that should answer this question. That was question number 13. Now, of course, your table might be a little bit different, but the steps are going to be the same. Thank you for watching.